habari zenu how are you doing uh, my name is Windrus and i have a very short story and at the end of the story i want us to help each other so last week i was invited to be a guest speaker during a national youth conference for AIPCA it was happening in Kirinyaga after my session that i was handling personal branding and of course career guidance among others two beautiful and very energetic ladies approached me uh they look very promising and I actually thought our total ni kama wako campus venye tu wamejiweka how they are communicating you it was able for me to understand them very fast uh we greeted each other and i asked them what do you want to tell me tell me i'm listening and they told me uh one started speaking and told me uh I completed uh, my fourth form in the year 2022 and I was not able to join college and that is something that that is really eating me up because hustling in the village is not bearing fruits and that is not what I intended when I was finishing my high school and I was like wow that's a whole year a whole year plus uh hustling and I asked the other one aha uh-huh, and you what are you doing and then she told me she completed form 4 last year but one and as well that is 2022 uh, have you joined in a college no what are you doing uh and she laughed and asked her uh uh-huh. you why are you laughing at me what are you doing with yourself and she told me hey i am going to tell you direct to the point me my me my parents My parents told me that I will get married so they are not going to waste money with me. Why? Nothing. Which grade did you get? A sibling. Sibling. And then your your parent and I asked her in specific who told you that you'll get married and she told me on my face that it's the mother. Her mother told told her actually she told me her mother told her in her language in her French nyoka hika diguita gabesha nawe. And then the other one told me that she has been hustling the thing is the reason why she is not in college okay she they anticipated they anticipated that she's going to get a c a c plus and above to their shock she got a d minus really low well low however she completed the fourth form The parents were disappointed as well and they told they told the girl this is what you've gotten for yourself and we do not have an option kuja nyumbani to hustle and that is that is what has been happening she has been selling mayai uh, kulima na wazazi and all that uh, we really spoke and i'm intending to come through for them i am in communication however i imagine a lot of a lot of our, our our daughters and our sons are going through the same one because maybe parents do not have value some par- parents do not have uh, value for education or even skills and number two, probably because what you expected that they will get from high school was totally different from what they brought home but my question is does that make their life end there if they did not get the grade that you wanted does that make their life end there is that end of the story did did you close the chapter of your 18 year old son or daughter because they did not get your desired grade ladies and gentlemen probably whoever is watching this is not part of this story but you could be having or in case you hear a parent who a, 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 a son or a daughter a gentleman or a young lady who is going through this at home in the on, in the hearts of their parents please notify me i believe i can be able to convince these parents to make sure that they go to school they join colleges they get themselves skills that will help them either to get a job or better still employ themselves he ku haso at you how ku pata yenye tulitarajia enda uka haso he utaolewa wa mama ashari yetu tokotora tumuri ragira wona to ahika tafadhali reke tu ma skills ya merita tu ya merita da tu ya mwako mwe 
na nimegwitethia na matigutura ngomwenye waku if you don't help them at this stage no matter what is happening with them i'm telling you they will remain to be children and they will remain on your shoulders for the rest of their life please do something help them to get off your shoulders so that you can be able even to relax and take care of their siblings asante sana ni haya tu kwa sasa